Welcome back to the Demon Slayer Gaming Channel. We're going to be continuing our Let's Play series through Dragon Age 2. We left off, we are outside the Forsaken boss down here in the under Underdark. Or Deep Roads, I guess, is the uh, name in this game. But I did a little research because this boss was feeling incredibly hard. Since we are playing on Nightmare, this is supposed to be like the gatekeeping for this uh, act. So it's kind of test everything you've been doing throughout the game and I realized that I've honestly been building my characters very very wrong and I had no interaction in any of their skills to like get extra damage for like the brittle or uh, disoriented or anything like that staggered so I went through and I respect a couple of them or pretty much everyone and what I did is I reloaded an old save went back to uh, Kirkwa that's the name of it picked up a bunch of the maker size from the black emporium which gave us the ability to respec and then I respect our team I went ahead and brought out the same team, so I didn't change anything there. Um, everyone's still equipped with the same thing. I did uh, add in a couple things, like I added in the uh, rune for cold damage into um, Varric's bow and the lightning resistance rune for his uh, chest piece, because that does help a lot for this fight, and you can just swap those out, not a big deal. Um, I added in just straight physical damage for uh, Fenris's weapon just to buff him up a little bit. And then I changed a lot of their abilities and did more upgrades instead of like just getting as many abilities as possible. So we dropped Hail of Arrows because we weren't really using it to begin with. Picked up the increased um, uh, Disorience pinning shot so it now it is Disorience. And uh, Punishing Lance and uh, Shattering Arrow for his couple abilities. And then for Meryl, we went ahead and got the improved uh, Spirit Bolt. Along with getting the uh, Stone Fist upgraded and Chain Lightning upgraded. Instead of going down her path for like all her Dalish stuff, because I wasn't really enjoying this anyways. We may still get some later, but I think using her as like a damage dealer is a little more enjoyable. And then for Fenris, we but went through and got the like cleave and passives for just like regular damage. He's using Might for damage also, and uh, his chance to stagger enemies, and then just buffing Mighty Blow. So the increased damage on brittle enemies. And that way he has not been killing our party anywhere near as much at having this. So it's really been fantastic. And then we have the uh, still upgrading his lyrium form. So that's the new strategy that we have for uh, our team right now. We're going to be playing more around the interactions between party members which is something big in this game that you're supposed to be doing and I just was not so I had to play all the way back through the act to get over here it actually went really smoothly so I'm happy to see that, that it looks like the upgrades to the team are working um, in that regards I have no injury kits left and everyone on the team does have at least one injury so we're hurting a little bit on HP but I do have many more health potions I was able to make it through with a lot more of those so we're gonna see how this goes and hopefully it goes a bit better what is this place this is I did hear that the recommendation is to put everyone on uh, like hold position here and go from there. We'll see how it goes. I 
think we'll go ahead and pop heal on him now. off grab her and I think I still want to come over to this one if they'll all fall over here I have enough time okay all right so you do not want to touch the ads to begin with Hex on the boss. I'm gonna do. Winter's Grasp on the boss. Hopefully that will freeze. Didn't get disoriented either. Kind of sucks. I think this will help a little. I'll kill the ads with Varric because he just takes them out quite easily. That's not good. Oh, I didn't swap her staff. Whoops. She needs a... Uh... This one on. He heading out there right now. I itches. Uh, is there anything else I can do? I don't have any healing with her yet. That's really, what I want to do. I hope you didn't launch that on. You did. If you kill them before they stand up, then they don't actually die, and it makes this really freaking hard to do.
she heal yet? Yes. Oh, right. Lightning doesn't do anything for her. For him. Going back into another one? No, he's pulling in, okay. Y'all need to get behind a pillar. Before I do that, probably need to let their abilities finish. Who the fuck? Not die on me. Thank you. that land.
Okay. Blast it. Daisy got herself. Oh, so close. Knocked out. So close. What is? Bob Merrill's button before I forget again. bad. Just give me a second here. Y'all are dumb. Use your potions. There's no getting out of it at this point, I'm pretty sure. Where did he die from? Was that walking bomb that killed him? That's very possible. I need to turn walking bomb off.
Should be able to clip both of them with this. Good. I have heal. Yes. Okay. Change that to that. Just auto attack for now. Three of those are dead. No, not that last one. Burned her. Burned her freeze, which is not good. Kill some of these. Alright, we'll die. Dead. Mm. I'm good. I need her to be hitting the right target. Good, not good, not good. Watch out for the big guy. Stacy got herself knocked out. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Okay, we got a health potion.
Oh my. Thought you could outrange that. me Get stuck and don't hit me. Get stuck and don't hit me. Son of a... Fucking range, I swear. I'm not gonna make it. Is it going so yeah, I'm gonna die. Oh, so close again. It's that last little group. Although, okay, hold on. Okay, let's change her staff, right? And then change her tactic to just not use this right now. That's what's killing us. What is this? Like I'm gonna take a hit here if I don't move. He's about to do his dash forward move.
So, everyone on the Wraith to begin with. Entered grass, this thing here. That's not helpful to me. Way to suck. Any shots. take considerable damage if we don't kill the ads, so... Corner. Use health potions. Stamina potion. dead. Going with this. Do a penning shot. Followed by Spirit Bolt. can get off of him now. Doesn't actually damage us really. Over here. Do I want to use these two potions? Probably not. Okay, I am going to use walking bomb here, and then I'm also going to use this here, bursting arrow. Yeah. 
three of those are dead. Is this one dead? Not yet, almost. Okay. Instant kill. Alright, everyone on... Everyone on the boss? are supposed to be dwarven legends they're not even supposed to be real looked pretty real to me i suppose it doesn't matter look at what it was guarding let's see if there's something that can help us get out of here nice everyone level up all right so I am going to end up going Spirit Healer eventually with her. For now, I think I'm probably going to get the Deep Freeze on the Kona Cold. We're going to upgrade Walking Bomb just because we need to uh, get a last point there so we can get Spirit Master. Uh, let's get the Magic Resistance. Because that seems to be our issue now is some of the spells are damaging. So we want to make sure that we're surviving those. Make sure you go back and loot. Would have lost a couple items. Got injury kits, but we're not going to use them unless we end up having to fight more down here. Bonus to lock picking. So not really anything we're gonna use. The kind that opens doors, I hope. Let's collect the best pieces we can carry out of here and then go. Hmm. I'd say this is our way back. How long to get back? If we're unlucky, maybe a week. And if we're lucky? We stumble over Bartrand's corpse on the way. <laughs> Ho 
Home sweet home. Finally. Oh, I wonder if Bartran came back to the city. You think I'd be that lucky? Probably not. And luck hasn't exactly been our strong point so far. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> the treasure we found in that crypt far outstrips Bartran's stupid idol. He'll be green with envy when he finds out. As soon as I get the chance, I'll look up my contacts to make sure we get the best price. I imagine you'll want to head home, tell your family the good news. We're going to be rich. So you're back. No, oh, thank the maker. He's a Templar Please now. Talk some sense into him. Carver, what are you wearing? I've joined the Templar Order. There's no point in trying to talk me out of it. It's done. Is that what you want? Do you actually want to be a Templar? I want to be someone. More than just your brother. This is my chance. Carver, please. The order is so dangerous. I'll be fine, Mother. You don't need to worry about me. And you don't need to worry about me turning you in. I know the value of family. That's a pretty nice sword you got there. So the champion's brother was a Templar. Yes, but that's not the connection you're looking for. Isn't it? How else did an apostate remain invisible for so long without help from within the Templars? And the champion's companions? Meryl, Aveline, Isabella, that warden Anders. Don't remind me. I introduced them. We thought they all came from Ferelden together, but now it makes sense. Motive and opportunity. It's still not what you think. Then I need to hear more. Unless you've already decided. I can always go if you don't need me anymore. Tell me what came next. treasure we found in the deep roads made us a fortune. The champion moved up in the world. Literally. Bought a mansion in Hightown. Everyone knew who she was now. Even the Viscount was taking care of us. Carver joined the Templars, just as he said he would. He didn't turn in the champion, at least. Three years later, the Quinari still hadn't heard. The Kunari insisted they were waiting for their ship. But some of us do better. Bird's head was shaped weird. compound was not meant to be permanent. There are concerns the Kunari influence is no longer contained. Was it ever? Kirkwall has tension enough between Templar and Mage, but these Kunari, they sit like gargoyles waiting for Maker knows what and everyone goes mad around them. Nearly four years I've stood between fanatics. And now, this. Don't keep us in suspense. Leave us. Meredith at my throat, Orsino at my heels, and a city scared of heretical giants. Balance has held because the Conari ask for nothing. Even the space in Lowtown was a gift to contain them. 
But now, the Arishok has requested you by name. What did you do? Small things. Brief, but honest. I got his attention a couple of times. I guess I impressed him, but that was years ago. It makes no sense. And it doesn't matter. I just need them quiet. I remember how you helped my son. It seems you are meant to have influence above your station. Speak to the Arishok. Give him what he needs to keep the peace. Can you do that for Kirk Wall, Sarah Hawk? Who is against the Kunari? I've seen hate for them, but I haven't heard anything major in years. Zealots are bravest where their lies can't be argued, behind closed doors. Chantry leaders see Kunari beliefs as a challenge, not an attack. But the message gets muddled among casual adherents. I'm certainly not equipped to argue the fine points of faith. How is your son? Have the years been kind to Seamus? He is his own man. But your actions tempered him somewhat. He's not so angry at the world. I thank you for that. I may not agree with him on many things, but uh, I am proud of what he is becoming. Do you fear a war? The Kunari usually arrive as conquerors. Odd that this has gone on so long. Very, and I have no interest in antagonizing them. That is partially why I suffer being a messenger today. A treaty exists, and it has been honored. Although... Uh, you have doubts? They claim they're waiting for a second ship. But it has been three years... They want something else. Why not expel the Kunari? Sounds like you'd be better off without this headache. They will not leave, and we don't have the resources to force the issue. At least, not in a way that would leave the city intact. If they had come to conquer, I suspect they would have done so. What does the Aerishark want? Any idea what I can expect? None. Honestly, I don't think I've heard two direct words from the Arishok. Other than his rather deliberate phrasing of... Begone. If you think he's asking me to notify you of this is strange... Well, you would be right. Of course I'll help. I'm always willing to assist. Well, that is an attitude this city has lacked for a long time. Appease the Arishok. Take his demand and let him return to dormancy. As awkward as this has been, it is better than the alternative. Make. What a mess. Uh, anything else in here? What a mess. Ooh, bring, uh, is this technically act two? Is that where we are now? Good day, sir. Let me gather my party. Ooh, we can use Carver. He's just a Templar now? No, we can't use him. Okay. We'll get him back later, it looks like. If the guards are inside the keep, how do they guard it? Looks like the uh everything's respawned, so I'm assuming we're in Act 2 now. Uh 
So go ahead and save. There was our reload save. We'll need to give them answers by tomorrow, Captain. I'll have them. Dismissed. The Seneschal was particularly vocal. Dismissed. You'd think the Captain of the Guard could requisition a Templar or two, but no, that would be demeaning. Can't have them working for the people when Eternity needs a nanny. Not what you expected? You had to know cleaning up this mess would be difficult. It's not the challenge, it's the unending part. And really, I blame you. You poured money into a pot that was already full. Everything has shifted. Good job validating the fears of every anti Ferelden and Kirkwall. Why success? My success is your headache. I didn't realize I was making it worse by getting ahead. I'm just harassing you. Although you are a bit like the center of a hurricane. You've changed fortunes for many people. Not always for the better. You need more resources. Sounds like you're spreading yourself pretty thin. There are a lot of people in my charge. Someone has to look out for them. You guard the guardsmen. I don't turn people loose like Jevon. There's additional training, doubled patrols. Costs are up, but I've halved injuries. I'll take it and argue with Seneschal Bran later. You knew Je Jevon left a mess. After the last captain, you couldn't have expected this to be easy. At least I had the guards on my side. Once they understood, they rallied. And those who didn't weren't fit to hold the crest. Stack friends against the enemies. I don't know if I came out ahead, but it's for the better. You love it. Grouse all you want, but the Aveline I know doesn't regret a second as captain. They'd have to drag me out of here. And I'm sure some are lining up to try. You among them, I bet. Haven't had much time to follow you around. Not that I need to. I can trust that you at least try to do right. But I'm with you if you need me, Hawk. Just say the word. Okay. So we essentially just need to talk to everyone because we are in like act two now. So big story pivotal moment so now everyone wants to talk so we'll just go around looting chests in the town area while we do that can we come in here now Ooh. a throne with should be like ups here that you can go on. I guess not. Alright, no point coming over here. Let's go get that chest though on the other side. Varus should be able to loot everything. He's got a couple items that are boosting his lock picking and he's got 30. Um, cunning. Yeah, not bad. Oh, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you, Miss Air. If only you humans didn't all look the same. <laughs> I need to meet the Viscount. I had to meet the Viscount. I was called to the keep on important business, Bowden. Yes. I was hoping to catch you before you arrived. I came to deliver this to you. The last of the proceeds from all that treasure you found in the deep roads. It seems your friend Varric found a buyer after all, yes? Quite well done. Thank you. 
I can put this to good use. Of course. Always happy to help. Uh, before I go, may I simply say how grateful I am that you've allowed my boy to stay in your home. I did. I said I would repay you for saving Sandal's life, and I shall serve you faithfully. It is good to know he is safe. You don't need to serve me. I didn't ask you to be my manservant, Bowden. But I owe you a debt, and after what happened in the Deep Roads, I have no other way to repay you. I'll leave you to your adventures. Your mother asks that you return to the mansion when you have a chance. So I hear you've been visiting the Viscount's gardens, Daisy. Visiting the... Oh, they're enormous. And they're always empty. Why don't more people go to see them? Probably because they're private and surrounded by guards. I thought all those men looked a bit cross. Nothing on this side. Nothing on this side. Good day. Oh, that's my estate. Okay. Do I want to go here right now? Yeah, why not? You've settled in nicely. It's been hard work to get here. Indeed. Still, more coin never hurts, right? Say, if someone wanted to pass some work your way... You can always ask me. I'm listening, Evelyn. What's the trouble? A thorn in my side inventing trouble and scaring people. Remember Emmerich, the Templar? He wants your help, and some sort of official sanction. Official sanction? For his... investigation. He's convinced that every random murder in the past few years is connected, and he won't be quiet. Why not check it out? You don't think it's worth investigating? I have. He even convinced one of my lieutenants to raid the Dupuy mansion. Nothing there. You wouldn't believe how much ass I had to kiss after that, bloody hobbyist constable. Why can't he spend his declining years building a boat or something? Are you sure he's wrong? It seems like it should be easy to prove if there are bodies. Kirkwall isn't the safest place. That doesn't mean everything terrible is related. There's no sense to that. Can't be. He had a good start. I seem to recall he had some good leads. Then you won't mind chasing his threads. If it leads somewhere, I'll pick it up. Right now, he's just distracting my men. He's in the gallows. Do what you can. Thanks, Hawk. I'll try not to make a habit of this. My writing desk. Holy shit. Alright. I really don't want to read all of these. Normally I would read them, but uh, there's so many of them. So 
a lot of quests. Let's see, we can throw this on her. Is that Isabella? Who calls that into a stairwell? <laughs> I like the doggies. I like him too. Right, right. Hey, looks like they're having a nice chat. <laughs> Maybe Sandra picked up some Mabari speak from our time at the hero of Ferelden's camp. Odon would clean the fireplace. Says it reminds him of a mine shaft. It's strange living here again. My childhood home. Now owned by my child. It's not something I could have imagined when I was a little girl staring out this window. I'm still grateful you used your money from the expedition to buy back the estate. I feel like an Amel again. You're a hawk. I'm going to make the name Hawk one to be proud of in this city. I don't doubt it. Your father would have said that with that exact look too. I just wish we could all be together as a family one more time. I visited Carver with the Templars, and he's so proud of his new knighthood. I guess I just need to start picking you out a suitable husband. What? Back off, lady. I don't want no husband. Two marks, marks do add character to the piece. Let's go up here first. That's mother's room. I shouldn't intrude. Handprints. Was someone swinging on the chandelier? Scandal. I should get some curtains. Yep. You have curtains. Just fucking use them. Didn't I see this crest hanging somewhere in the Viscount's keep? Poor Prince. Oh, I told him to stay off the bed. Uh, I think I'll let Sandal empty that. Lots of old things from Lothering in there. Finery. What's this? Oh, and as manifesto. Again. Fenris said Daenerys left this at the mansion. And as manifesto. This thing turns up everywhere. Another copy of and as manifesto. Has he been stuffing them into all the books? Alright, so those are two uh, DLCs. We will want to run one of them in this act, so... Uh, I'm going to continue with the same group, because it seems to be working well right now. Let's go to everyone's home. Have you heard from your brother? Is he happy? With the Templars, I mean. Why so concerned? Why trouble yourself over him? I know how hard it is to give up everything and live among strangers. I worry about him. And not just for his sake. 
He seems to be fine. Our mother visits him constantly. She says he's doing well. I'm glad. Maybe it's not what you would have wanted, but it's good he's found his path. I know he was angry when he left, but this wasn't your fault. One day he'll understand you were trying to protect him. I hope you're right. Maybe with time, he'll forgive me. He loves you. He just doesn't show it very well. Things will be all right, somehow. What is this? Nice little mirror you got there, Meryl. Where's Fenris's? So the Seneschal's tax collector won't be coming around again like you asked. Funny story. I'll pass, but thank you for the help. Spoil sport. Why you want to squat up here in Hightown is beyond me. I like the view. So do I. Three years. There's still no sign of Daenerys. I'm beginning to wonder if he's finally given up. Are you sure? This is his mansion, isn't it? He must know you're here. Would you be surprised to learn that it isn't, in fact, his mansion? It belongs to a Tevinter merchant, one who has evidently given up on the place. Perhaps he is dead. Perhaps Daenerys killed him. Either way, if Daenerys is aware of my presence, he has done nothing. Hopefully he has. Isn't this what you wanted? Yes, but... Tell me, what do you do when you stop running? Build a life. You start over. Isn't that what you want? I don't know how. My first memory is receiving these markings. The lyrium being branded into my flesh. The agony wiped away everything. Whatever life I had before I became a slave, it's lost. I shouldn't trouble you with this. My problems are not yours. You really don't remember. You don't know who you were. Fenris was the name Daenerys bestowed upon me, his little wolf. If I once had another name or a family, then they were taken from me. But again, this is not your concern. I can help you. We can talk about this, Fenris. I doubt it. But enough. You have much to keep you busy, I'm certain. All right, Fenris, anything in your home? Doesn't look like it. Anders? Don't come running to me next time you pick up one of these diseases. Isn't that the point of magic? I don't want to know. Why does she keep looking at me that way? Things just keep getting worse. I had Templars practically on my doorstep the other night. Are they after you? The Templars are hunting you. Not me specifically. They were just checking the refugee camps. But it's not like this place is a secret. It's only a matter of time. I want to know about you. We haven't talked much recently. How have you been? Good. 
I just love what Knight Commander Meredith's done with the place. The curfews, the midnight raids on mages' families, everyone I know forced into hiding so they won't be made tranquil. How are you handling it? Is that making it harder for you? With justice? In the Fade, there is no time. Emotion rules everything. Justice doesn't know how to sit idle until the right moment to strike. And I can't say I have any greater patience. I fear what my anger has made of my friend. I have to control it. You chose to merge with him. Only you can make it work. I am trying. I have not attacked the Templars openly. I've helped the mages here as best I can. But this impasse cannot last. One day, everyone in Kirk will, will have to choose a side. Alright, there's no getting out of here quickly, it looks like. So let's go ahead and explore this whole area. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff up just in case we run into enemies here. Shouldn't, hopefully, but never know. That's a large thing of powder cakes. Your purse is, Gertwald. The leases of Javari Tintop work for Bravo. I hear the mine outfit's fitting as hard as the drill. You really ought to take that offer, Elf. It'd keep the coterie. Your back pretty much permanent. I don't need employment. But it wouldn't kill you to make some friends in this city. Three years. There we go. Be a ghost. Heart of Thugs. I, uh, froze myself. Damn, he hits fucking hard. Assassins, I swear. Hit way too hard for their own good. Jake the Black. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. <laughs> We had so many exits from Low Town previously, and now we have one. Pretty weird. I guess it's been three years. Did they close them all up? Um, I guess we go to the Hanged Man. That would be. Two more people.
Just tell me if you hear more rumblings from the Coterie about protection. Blondie's got enough trouble. Let me ask you something, Hawk. You made it into Hightown. I'd expect anyone else to get complacent, but you... you must have plans. I'd like to buy a business. I could go into business for myself. You must have pointers on that, don't you, Varric? A business is like a puppy. Take your eyes off it, and soon there's shit all over your floor. To be honest, I thought there might be a chance you'd want to go back to Ferelden now that things have calmed down. It's good to hear you're sticking around. Hello. I can do some good here. Kirkwall needs me. If nothing else, you give this town respectability, my friend. So, we've got a whole city-state full of trouble to get into. Shall we get started? There's something to it, I swear. It's a sign. Guy was looking like an absolute doofus in the background. She's not here anymore. He is by. Isabella. actually hear you, can she? Of course she can. What kind of question is that? Wait, are we talking about your crossbow or something else? Isabella, you look well. Are you talking about the flush on my cheeks? It must be the whiskey. Do you remember the relic I told you about? The one I need to find? I've been following a lead. I'm so close I can taste it. You don't need it. The search for this thing has consumed you. Let it go. I just thought I'd let you know that I may soon be taking you up on that offer of help. I'll do it for a kiss. Do I get a kiss from the feisty temptress when I present her with the hard-won prize? If you want, I'll even let you choose where I plant it. <laughs> There we go. Start the romance with Isabella. Anything interesting happening around town? So, do we have anyone else? Oh. The Bastion. Is he gonna finally join us? So I so many women. You step on something sharp, then yes? No. Slam your fingers in a drawer? No. Smack your head on a low beam? Is there a point to this kind of questioning? I'm wondering why you're so cross all the time. Spikes personally. Perhaps it's the inane prodding. Forgive me. Go around the outside first. Evil Tome. Found one of Tyrone's books. The pages are filled with the secrets of blood magic. Feel a stirring of power as you look upon it. I'll read it. As you read the pages, the words change before your eyes. Fleeting sentences offer tantalizing secrets. 
The book offers powers in exchange for a promise. To leave it alone afterwards. Sure. Your eyes can barely keep up with the words as they dance across the page. Knowledge courses through your skull. It ends and you feel stronger. Also, you find it hard to even glance at the book. Oh, hello. Desire demon first. This should disorient it. disoriented after the hex we'll go with that that did land so now we can do this Attribute. So it gave us two attribute points. That's it. It's a little lackluster, I feel like. We do have the book, though, still. side quest of destroying the tomes? What if I accept the knowledge of all of them instead? Talk to Sebastian. I'm desperately trying to stay away. I thought it would end here. That young lady, Hawk, she decimated Flint Company. No survivors. Yet, now that I know who sent them, it's harder to see their deaths as justice. Death is never justice. My... Hawk? We were just talking about you. Nothing bad, I trust. Saying good things, I hope. Hawk asked diplomatically. You know, I hate it when you do that. Hawk muttered in an angry aside to the dwarf. If, uh, you two have a moment, I've learned who hired Flint Company. The Harrimans, a noble family of Kirkwall. They were my parents' allies. It's hard to believe they betrayed us like this. Harriman? 
I think I've met Lord Harriman. Lord Harriman used to be a good man, but he became rather strange in his dotage. He died some years back. His daughter took over the family, Lady Johane Harriman. They say she's become quite reclusive of late. Why would they do that? Any idea why they turned on you? Money? Power? It's hard to say. Lady Harriman was always jealous of my family for being royalty when hers were mere nobility. But I can't imagine that pushing her into outright murder. What do you intend to do? Is there any peaceful way to resolve this? If you treat the Harrimans like those mercenaries, you could start a war. Go carefully, Sebastian. I must speak with Lady Harriman and find out what drove her to this madness. But I am the last of my line. I should not go alone and make myself a target. I will go with you. If I'm standing beside you, that should make her think twice. Again, your interest in my plight humbles me. If you like, I can travel with you until you confront Lady Harriman. Otherwise, you can always find me here in the Chantry. So if we were to pop out Varric and pull in Sebastian... Just another rogue. And he's a bow rogue. So it's like the exact same thing, essentially. I think I'll just keep Varric. For now, at least. We'll need to take him to go deal with his quest, though. Okay, let's go back to our estate. Gets rid of the wounds, and this is a good place to stop. Oh, so, this is where not. you live. Not bad. I preferred the old place. It had uh, more charm. wrong with this place you don't like my new house the house is fine i suppose but low town the smell of tar and the sea and the sound of some whore plying her trade in a back alley don't you miss that there's excitement right here you can get your thrills in high town if you know where to look oh and where would that be? Come with me. I can show you what I have in mind. Oh. Oh, stripping off weapons. <laughs> Where is she hiding all these? How many does she have? That was... <laughs> Thank you. I should go. I wouldn't want to take advantage of your... hospitality. You should stay. I don't want you wandering the streets alone at this hour. <laughs> You're sweet, but I can watch out for myself. Wait, you're not thinking of bringing feelings into this, are you? Why not? What about love? Love's not for everyone. It's not for me. It's just... messy. It's a shame. I'm sorry you feel that way. Why? I'm not. Did you know I was once married? When I was freed, I swore I would never marry again. You were married. I can't imagine you married. <laughs> I was his plaything. A prized possession. He saw me with my mother at the market in Lemeron and decided he had to have me. My mother gave me away for a goat and a handful of gold coins. She didn't even haggle over the price. Bitch. Have you ever been in love? Your marriage was loveless. And you've never experienced true love? <laughs> oh, I've been in love. I fell in love with a man not long after my husband died. 
He foolishly asked for my hand. I refused to be tied down again, and I fled. It broke his heart, destroyed him. That's sad. I'm sorry it ended that way. He was better off. I saved him a lot of trouble in the long run. What happened to your husband? How were you freed from the marriage? My husband took an assassin's blade to the back of the skull. And before you start jumping to conclusions, no, I didn't hire the assassin. I did thank him profusely, however. Ah, oh, Zevran. He was an artist. You're afraid of being loved. You're not afraid of being hurt. You're just afraid of hurting someone else. No, I... Look, it isn't like that. It's just easier this way. Now, if you're done trying to confuse the issue, I'm going to go. Well, all right then. I think that relationship is progressing nicely. What are you doing in my home? Your hound is a mark of nobility in Ferelden, is he not? I have heard that gaining a Mabari's loyalty is considered the ultimate proof of character there. He's a great dog. That's him. My own living, breathing, slobbering status symbol. The dog cares nothing for worldly power. The Maker would like to see us learn from him. Don't let it go to your head. Alright. So I feel like that is a good spot to stop for this one. I hope everyone's enjoying the playthrough of Dragon Age 2. If you are, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I will catch you on the next one.